welcome back to another video. This video, I'm gonna keep it simple. It's all about my skateboard setup. I'm gonna talk about the details, little knacks I have, favoritism, things of that sort. And also, if you stick around, I have a special, special thing to share with you, an Icelandic chocolate bar, and it's infused with licorice. I certainly did not anticipate it, but I'm ever grateful, and I'm gonna discover how tasty it is if you stick around. Let's set up this board, and we'll save that for the reward. First thing I'm gonna wanna do, honestly, is take apart my old board. It's completely chipped. It's a bit aggressive, it's a bit excessive. You got chippage. Serious chip action. You ASMR, this is not ASMR. It might seem like it, but it's not. Skating a street spot that was really rough, when I kicked out, it would just torpedo into a razor. Let's get, let's keep going. Oh. I found a cheat code. First of all, let me explain. I'm using the Slurpee, Canada Slurpee tool that was given away at the contest, Canada Skateboard Contest. I just used it for the first time as we speak, as you're witnessing. I lost my Bronson, the previous tool I had. A friend of mine gave it to me when he found it at the spot we were going to. And, but now we're onto this tool because, and thankfully Slurpee gave these away because now all the skaters who lost tools in the last year or since the event have one to fall back on immediately. You got a skate tool? You got a skate tool? You got a skate tool? I found a new technique that I'm all excited about and I just toil the Allen key. On to the next. Let's begin. Before I go into details, I'm gonna talk about the kitsch setup. This is what I'm riding. It's a teen graphic. It's a mattress board with the purple sky kitsch. Um, this is a Vancouver based company. It's been going and operating since 2006 and the riders on here, they're really talented. So it's a privilege to rep Kitsch. Pick yourself up one, the purple mysterious novel looking with the mattress. It's very spacey and fantasy oriented. And that gets me excited just because of novels and experiences reading and also the creative imagination. This one gives that creative vision and it's a team board. So I'm repping everybody on the Kitsch team. I'm gonna set it up now, let's grip it. I typically, file down the board. I also, I incrementally don't file down the board because I want to practice my skills of of um, setting up the boards without a file. It's quicker, right? Supposedly. All right. I like to level it like this, and then I press down from the center, and then I spread out. That's how I feel. I feel very comfortable with that strategy. It usually sticks just fine. This is what I do, I just like, never done this personally, but pretty cool. All right, on to the filing part. This is the trick. I just use my truck. And it cut four creases. One, two, three, four. Do a little bit of filing action. With the excess of grip tape, I like to sand down, and generally, I think all skaters do, just so you don't like the grip tape doesn't peel up. You know, you want the grip tape sealed as much as possible. And then what I tend to do is just do a little layer of de-gripping, but mainly because I did that as a kid because one of the guys who taught me how to grip my board did that and ever since I like skated my first board and yeah, de-gripped a little bit and it's just a knack I like a lot. That actually reminds me, why did I choose Jessup? It's just stuck with me, it's also a childhood thing. It's the first grip I was ever familiar with and I stuck to it. I know some skate shops deliver mob and people only use mob, but it tends to be like, what's the first grip you got? And if it was mob, I would be repping mob heavy. So, and I do like that more mellow grip feeling. I find it lasts all day for me. And it's not really not really an issue, the gripping. Right, now I have to poke holes to make room for the hardware and then I can set up my trucks. One. <laughs> what? That's the first time I've ever failed at that. Damn. Wow. All right, let me get more accurate with that one. Just inverse, install the trucks now. 
That's easy, simply easy, right? I am so excited. And let me tell you, I am worked right now. I just, I went street skating and just was jumping and um, it was eventful, but my body's sore. I'll tell you this, I'm intending to skate later. This board is making me just like de disassociate with soreness. Make sure I tend to do this actually. I have thunder trucks, clearly. I hope you notice because I love thunders. And I haven't written on these ones yet. Usually I put permanent marker F and B. I notice based on back tail marks and how much wax is, wax is on the rear truck. I don't think I elaborated, but I'm here at Cool Chenna Skate Park and behind me here. And I'm really excited to roll around. My goal is to just do like some overcrooks, some flat bar variations, and little things that I can put into this video to make my board setup more fun to watch. So that's the case. I forgot to describe this board a bit. I'm riding 8125 and I am astonished at how precise it is for me. It's, I'm getting better control on my board and I'm having a lot more fun than 82. But I notice I think I've converted from 82 to 81 fully very satisfied. The truck situation. These are 148 Thunder trucks. I only ride them because I ride 8125. And then with the wheels, the wheels I'm riding our Spitfire 101 Dura, which I'm very grateful for. There you go. And they slide really well. I feel like I have a lot of control. I can even slide at low speeds and have a lot of control. Looks good to me. Okay. Well, there you have it. I have my kitsch set up and Thunder trucks with Spitfire wheels and I got the Reds bearings inside. That's my setup. That's all it is. I just keep it simple. I'll wait till I get like dirt on it or something to know what the front and back is and that's all that's all there is to know thanks for watching this episode of my board setup subscribe for updated videos and more skating like this video